Welcome to VR Fitness Bootcamp. Today, I'm playing Skyrim VR with workout rules. First, if I kill a dragon, I still have to do 20 push-ups, but hand release push-ups. Fast travel is now 10 kettlebell swings. Sighting dragons is still 20 sit-ups. Also, finding new locations is still 10 knee highs. Learning new shouts is no longer shoulder taps, it is now a 60 second plank. Meeting priests and worshippers, still 20 arm raises. Leveling up, no longer punches, it is now 10 kettlebell shoulder presses with each arm. Pusro Da, still 20 climbers. If I die, still gotta do 20 lunges, but I gotta hold the kettlebell. And the bonus, bumping into a guard that says, I used to be an adventurer like you, then I took an arrow to the knee, is no longer palm strikes. It is now bicep curls with this barbell to failure. Those are the rules. Let's get to the game. So my Nord is level nine and I'm still playing on expert difficulty. Act one is done, so it's time to grind some levels. Side quests and becoming Thane in the holds were my objectives. I was having a hard time getting to Elder Gleam Sanctuary on my previous play. My game kept crashing, but I wanted to ditch Maurice ASAP. So finishing the Blessings of Nature quest was top priority. I also mentioned in my last video, I was getting annoyed by having the sidetrack to sell off my stuff and my bags, so I downloaded a 10,000 carry weight ring from Nexus Mods to help with that problem. But I have another mod on that makes it a pain in the neck for me to get on my horse, and I haven't figured out what it is yet. I turned off the Macho Dragons mod, thinking maybe that's what was crashing my game, but I think it's the Warzone mod, because as soon as I got to Fort Amel, this happened. Damn it, man. I have a mod on that's breaking stuff. Or do I? It turns out, I just needed to make like Guns N' Roses and be a little patient. I finally made it to Elder Gleam Sanctuary. But there was a dragon nearby, so I hurried inside because I didn't want to do any sit-ups. After the knee highs for discovering Fort Amel and the sanctuary, there were a couple of people at Elder Gleam that told me to leave the tree alone. I don't know of another way to complete this quest. Well, what am I supposed to do? So I used Nettlebane on the roots to clear the way and collected the sap for Danica. This summoned Spriggans. The two folks in the sanctuary were killed. But my tag along wasn't, and I was finally what able to leave crazy, crazy old Maurice. Maurice. It, I avoided spotting the dragon outside of Elder Gleam sanctuary and quickly fast traveled to Dragon's Reach. Turn in the blessings of nature to Danica Pierspring. I've got the sap. Wonderful. Thank you so much for all your help. After that, I mounted up and rode off to Falkreath Hole to see why the Jarl summoned me. While riding through Riverwood, my crew killed another thief trying to break into Lucan's shop. I was too busy trying to get off my horse. At Ember Shard Mine, I took some time to see if I could fix the horse problem, and I discovered that the B seated mod was the culprit. I adjusted some settings, and then I was easily able to get on and off my horse. Hey, look at that. Hallelujah. Be seated. Haha, <laughs> we figured it out. Good luck. Who are you? Back on the road, I met a spirit of the boy, and agreed to carry his remains to Falkreath. How about I carry you instead? Beautiful. I don't have to f***ing fight the goddamn horse anymore. I rode around Falkreath Hold looking for side quests, and stumbled on Sunderstone Gorge. So I dove in to investigate the source of power. Things got heated. But I eventually made it to the end and discovered that the source of power fire was breath. the fire breath shout. Go. Okay, 60 seconds. Directly south of Sunderstone, I what found Moss Mother Cavern. Not sure how much longer I can hold out here. I've lost a drop or two I treated Baldur's wounds, and then agreed to That's clear out the cave so he could I'll retrieve his fallen friends. One. I'll do it. You got a small army with you, lol. He rewarded me his lucky dagger. I know it isn't much, but it's important to me. Come find me if you're ever in Falkreath. Darky darky. Then I got back on the road to Falkreath. I met the Jarl, and he asked me to get rid of the bandit leader at Banner Mist Tower. It will be done. Good. But before that, I went and delivered the ghost boy's remains to priest Runil. You're a priest of RK? 
came into Arche's light after the Great War. He mentioned he and dropped a journal in a cave, and I said I'd go get it for him. I'll do it. Blessing of Arche to you for your help. I made quick work of the bandit leader. Hit! <laughs> Sucker. I've killed the leader of Banner Mist Tower. Teach them to stop paying me. Is there anything else you need, my Jarl? You help my people, and I'll make you my fane. It would be an honor. I then went and helped the denizens of Falkreath. I have cabbage to sell. I have potatoes to sell. I have gourds to sell. Honest pay for honest work. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Firewood added, firewood added, firewood added. I have firewood to sell. The final person to help was Runil the Priest. Lady Stone. I found Brittle Shin Pass, where he dropped his journal, and dove in to go get it. There's a cave here. There sure is. Watch out for that rune. I said watch out for that rune. Don't step on it. I discovered the north entrance to the pass, then headed back to town. Did you see a dog out there? No, some wolves, but no dogs. We're vampire hunters. We search out and destroy those blood-sucking scum wherever we find them. I then went to turn in the quest. I have your journal. Here. I promise to this. Runil was the last person I needed to help. I've helped your people. So I returned to the Jarl, who then made me Thane of Falkreath and granted me Raya as a house carl. Follow me, I need your help. Lead on, Thane. Falkreath complete. Next stop, Morthal. When I got there, bandits were causing trouble. What do we fight? I kill you! took care of them, and headed into High Moon Hall. Is there some kind of trouble in Morthal? The Jarl was acting a bit grave. Her daughter also wanted me to deliver a letter to Danica Pearspring regarding her sick little brother. I'd be glad to help. Thank you. Back outside, I ran into more bandits. Oh, more bandits? I poked around town to see what else was going on. Is there a story behind the burned down house? The innkeeper told me of the odd circumstances regarding a burned down house. So I asked the Jarl about it. I hear you want someone to look into that house fire. I will reward you. When I went to the house, I found another ghost. Who's there? Is Rogar your father? Are you sure you aren't a stranger? You know what happened to your house? Will you play with me? If I do, will you tell me who set the fire? We have to wait for nighttime, though. We have to wait for nighttime, though. It is nighttime. The other one is playing, too. The other one? What do you mean? If you can find me first, I can tell you. Hide and seek with a ghost could take a while. Except I've played this game before and knew where to go. Make my luck go away. I found the kid. They let? Then was attacked by a vampire. Come here. You found me! After, the vampire's husband showed up and couldn't believe what was going on. Poor Lelet. He told me before his wife went missing, she was last seen with a lady named Alva. So I went to go poke around Alva's house. Did you just break into Alva's house? A guard outside spotted me breaking into the house. A guy in the house foolishly attacked my entourage. He was immediately killed. I then went back into the house, because now I guess it's okay since the door's already unlocked and the occupant is dead. In the basement I found Alva's journal and discovered she is also a vampire, working for a master vampire named Movarth. So I took the journal to the Jarl. Alva set the fire, she's the murderer. I have Alva's journal. 
So it's true, the traitorous bitch. She gathered her townsfolk and asked I lead the charge to defeat Movarth. I'll be waiting outside for you to lead them. Their help would be useful because Movarth is no pushover. You guys following me? But I guess the mob marched in the wrong direction because they never showed up. Movarth Slayer. All right, lunch time. Uthgar dead. I died. After dying, I dropped the difficulty and tried again. I'm novice. Even with the difficulty drop, Movarth was still a pain. Finally defeated him and cleared out the rest of the lair. I expected it was going to be difficult. And it was. I'm sweating. On my way out, the ghost greeted me one last time. Mother's calling me. It's time for me to sleep now. I'm so tired. Thank you for making her feel better. Outside, I set the difficulty to adapt. I didn't want to do any more lunges for the day. The Master Vampire Movarth is dead. Now maybe we can put all this behind us. Anything else you need, my Jarl? You help my people, and I'll make you my thane. It would be an honor. Good luck. My quest too, then decided to shut down. Uh-oh. Meta's latest update doesn't give me a second battery warning, so this is where I ended the stream. All right. Calling it a day. I'll be back to play again later. Here's a breakout of the day's exercises. It wasn't extremely difficult, and I didn't get as far as I wanted. I only leveled up once. Nevertheless, I believe any activity is better than no activity. Did you know that according to the National Academy of Sports Medicine, physical inactivity is a problem that must not be ignored. Regular physical activity and exercise are important in both primary and secondary prevention of chronic diseases like heart disease and diabetes. 
So yes, while the session's exercises wasn't much, it's still better than me sitting on my ass playing with a controller in my hand doing nothing. So if you too can also find ways to enjoy your favorite hobbies and live a bit healthier each day, then I'll keep on making these f***ing videos. If you missed my first Skyrim workout video, it's right here, so go check it out. Thank you so much for sticking around, and remember, knowledge requires motion, so get your asses moving.